MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a quick tip on using 2.1 to drag and drop MIDI into Ableton Live with the update with the MIDI drag and drop. It's much faster now. So let's say I got this basic loop inside of Machine. And I want to get that MIDI into Ableton so it can trigger the plugin. So the first thing you want to do is right click on the group, go to Group MIDI Bat Setup. And we're going to do sounds to MIDI notes. So now all your notes are going to be on the same channel, but they're going to be on different notes. So it's going to be laid out properly. So you can see if we drag it in, it's going to drag just one clip instead of those separate clips. And you can see everything is laid out like it should be. So then what we want to do is go up here to group. And you want to go to the input. You can also do this from the mixer. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to leave that on channel one. And I'm going to put this over here on a blank scene just so it doesn't trigger. Then inside of Ableton, of course, I want to go send the MIDI to the machine plugin on whatever channel I choose. And that's going to be channel one because that's what we set up our group as. And now if I play it. And of course, you can do that with multiple, you know, groups or however many you want. So it's much faster like it used to be group MIDI batch set up. Definitely glad to see that back. I know a lot of people that have that workflow with dragging their MIDI into their DAW are going to be happy to see this because we don't have to go in and do all the transposing and everything. Because if you notice, if we go over here and look at the sounds, they're actually transposed for us. So you can see right there. And if we start going up, you can see it's already transposed because we did that that group MIDI bat setting. So, of course, if you got any questions about 2.1, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.